What is up? It's Andy with MyTechMethods.com and in this video I will show you how to save battery on iOS 7. All of these tips do apply to any iOS 7 device, even if it's an iPhone or an iPod or an iPad, it all applies. The first tip is to end all the background running apps before you go to bed. So once a day, just kill all those background apps. And to do this, all you have to do is just double tap the home button and swipe up on each app to end the background process. This will save battery when you're not using it. The next tip is to enable airplane mode when you're not using the network or the cellular data on your device. So normally when I go to bed, I just swipe up, see the control center, and I just enable airplane mode by tapping on the airplane icon. And there you go, it shuts off all data connections and does save battery life tremendously. You'll also want to enable auto brightness or just lower your brightness level overall on your device. So go to settings, then go to wallpapers and brightness. And you can enable auto brightness if it's not already enabled. Also, you can just turn down your overall brightness there using this scroll bar here. So I just always just leave it on auto brightness and it will automatically adjust your brightness on your screen, your screen depending on if you are outside in the bright on a bright sunny day or inside in a dark room. So just keep that auto brightness enabled and that will uh, save battery life. This may seem like a pretty obvious tip, but when you aren't using Bluetooth or AirDrop, uh, swipe up your control center and just disable those. If you're not using Bluetooth or AirDrop or any of those features, just go ahead and turn them off. And if you're a beginner and you don't know about the control center, if any of these icons are white, that means they are turned on. So if it's white, it's turned on. Obviously we want it disabled when we're not using it. So we'll just tap it again to turn it off. Disable any unnecessary notifications in your notification center. So go to settings, the notification center, and then uh, disable any of these that you do not need notifications for. All these apps here, if you don't uh, need notifications from a certain app, just go in here and tap it and then just disable any of these features. You can choose to disable all of them or just certain ones. Uh, depending on which app it is. So you can customize it to your liking. But yeah, turn off notifications for unnecessary apps. Also, disable any unnecessary location services that are on. So in settings, go to privacy and then location services. You can choose to turn location services on, but only turn it on for certain apps. As you can see here, I disabled location services for any app that does not need it. Uh, a lot of these apps don't need your location information. So if it doesn't need it, just go ahead and disable it for that app and that will save battery life for sure. And when you're still in this location services tab here, scroll all the way down to the bottom. And if you tap on system services, uh, disable these four or these three options here, diagnostics and usage, location based IADs and popular near me. These three apps are basically unnecessary for the majority of iPhone users. So turn those off. Also, you'll want to turn off frequent locations. So that's at the bottom of system services. Turn that off. You don't really need that and it will save battery life. Another setting that you want to check is the limit ad tracking. So under settings, go back to privacy. And at the very bottom, you'll see this advertising tab. Tap on that and make sure that your limit ad tracking is enabled. You want that green because you don't want, you want to limit the ad tracking that your iPhone is doing in the background. When that is enabled, it will save your battery life. Now this next tip is optional. Uh, not everybody has to do it, but uh, if you want maximum battery life, then yeah, you should, you should do this. So go into settings, go to general, go to about, scroll all the way to the bottom, go to diagnostics and usage, and make sure that is the don't send is checked. If you want to send that stuff and be a good citizen, <laughs> you can go ahead, you can leave that on automatically send. But if you, again, if you want to maximize your battery life, uh, you can just change that, uh, make sure don't send is enabled. So it's not sending all your usage diagnostics data in the background. This next tip is for people out there who don't want to use the parallax feature of the new iOS 7 software. So if you don't want to, if you don't care about the 3D effects on the background or the transition effects for the apps closing and opening, uh, go to go to settings, then go to general accessibility, go down to uh, reduce motion. When this is enabled, it will reduce the amount of parallax uh, transitions and 3D effects that the iOS 7 software has. So if you don't really care about that, go ahead and enable that and that will save battery life. The next tip is to disable the background app refresh. So if you go into settings, then general, and then tap on background app refresh, 
You can disable it for all apps or you can enable it and then enable certain apps like I have here. So I turned off background app refresh for apps that I do not want to update in the background while they're running in the background. I only have certain apps enabled that I want uh, to update in the background. So go through this list and disable any background app refresh for any of the apps that you do, do not want to update in the background. That'll save battery life, especially when you have a lot of apps open at the same time. You can also disable automatic updates by going into settings, go down to the iTunes option, iTunes and App Store option. Here you can disable automatic downloads and automatic updates for music and apps and all that good stuff here. So disable all that. Also, you can disable use cellular data so it doesn't use your cell data to do automatic downloads. And the last tip for saving battery on iOS 7 is to change your spotlight search settings. So go into settings and then go to general, tap on spotlight search. And here you can disable spotlight search for any app that you want. You can customize this list. So for example, I don't need spotlight search to search through my podcast or my mail or my messages down there. So customize this list, any app that you do not need Spotlight Search for, you can uncheck it and then Spotlight Search will not index that app, which will save battery life. So that is how to save battery life on iOS 7. I hope you enjoyed the tips. If you have any other tips that I didn't cover or I missed, just leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, I will definitely uh, appreciate that. And also all the viewers will appreciate that. I wanna get as many tips out there as possible. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if it helps you out. My name is Andy with MyTechMethods.com. Thank you so much for watching. Keep having fun out there and I will talk to you later.